error rate for incorrect amount in the denominator we write the total number of opportunities which is 1200 and the number of faults are nine now this is can you please do this division it's a uh, 0 0.0075 <clears throat> So this is the rate of error. Now to yep. find the error per million, we have to find out how many, million. yeah, so one million multiplied by 0 0.07, sorry, 0 0.075, help me. 7,500. 75, it should go six decimal places, yes. Errors per million opportunity. It fluctuates. So this is our error per million opportunities. And for the other measure, which is the two over twelve hundred, yes, yeah, so the error rate for incorrect drug, two over twelve hundred, and you get zero point zero zero sixteen, and then error per million opportunity would be 1666.67 perfect so those are your two epmos right errors per million yeah and then the next question is what is the level of sigma here okay so we would put that, this in excel right yes so we go to excel let me open my Excel. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Okay, so we write the uh, error rate. Which is, or uh, what error rate? So here we would say incorrect. Uh, what was the first one? Incorrect amount. Error rate is, we write the error rate 0 0.0075, was that right? So now we have to go to now we want to point to cell, the probability is in cell D3 D3, so we are basically, if we have a normal distribution, the chance of error is at Z equal to negative 2.43, two, two standard deviations. And uh, this is our observation. Now to add, uh, uh, to find the sigma level, we have to add, so here I say sigma level. What we are observing is 2.4 standard deviations, but in fact, we have to add 1.5 standard deviations to this because this is our control limit. What the customers will see would be E3 minus 1.5. So we are at 
they got 3.9 uh, sigma level, and that is not good. We are not at six sigma level. We are at ab about four sigma level because the rate of error is too much. Now notice that if the rate of error goes down, for example, if I change this to 0 0.00075, then uh, of course it's still 7 out of 10,000. So now we reach to 4.6 sigma. If I, the rate of error goes to 0 0.00075, now we are at five. Notice that we want 3.4 out of a million on one side. So it's not still six sigma. The rate of error was 0 0.000075. Okay, not yet. 0 0.000075. Yeah, then we would be at six sigma level. I mean, the other I way is... What function did you use to get the uh, six sigma? No, the the function gives us where is our observation. So our observation is at 0 0.0075. So basically, we have seven error out of 1,000. This is the meaning of our error rate. It's not 3.4 out of a million. It's not 3.4 out of 10,000. It's seven out of 1,000. So basically, when you read this number, it is... 7.5 out of a thousand, a lot of error we have. To find the, <clears throat> how many standard deviation is the observations that we are observing. <clears throat> so basically to find this area, the probability of such an error happening on one end, in a one-sided calculation, this probability is 0 0.0075, and that happens at z equal to negative 2.432. And, uh, but we want this to be six sigma, or the other way that you think of is that we want this area to be much smaller, the chance of error. Uh, and then this is what we are observing, what the customers will observe, because we always set our control limit at 1.5 standard deviations far from what we promise our customers. So this is, if you add it with 1.5 standard deviation on the negative side, so this is the, what we do here. We basically go 1.5 standard deviations farther uh, we are at four standards. So it's not one formula that gives you the, sig uh, the sigma level. It's two steps. You have to add a 1.5 to it. Let me show you another thing. The other way that you can think of this is this error rate could happen on the other side. So look at this. The error rate that we are observing can happen here. So what if this is the error rate that we are observing? Therefore, then this area is 0 0.0075, okay? In that case, this point, the Z value for this point is Z equal to 2.432. And if you want to find it in Excel, you have to do this, okay? This area is 0.75, therefore this area is 1 minus 0 0.0075. So let's calculate that. 1 minus D3. And now I will use the same formula, which is norm dot s dot inv of cell D6. Now notice that the, from the normal distribution is a symmetric curve. So now it says that you have to go 2.432 on the right side, such that the chance of error becomes 0 0.07. And the result is the same. Now that I am on the right side, I have to go 1.5 standard deviation above what I am observing to reach to the upper specification limit. And this would be E7, sorry, E6 
plus 1.5, and the answer is the same. So basically, uh, both ways gives us a sigma level of 3.93.